Well, hey everybody, we're on the roof of the Mercedes motorhome here. We've got five-time world champion Lewis Hamilton, Ross Braun, the managing director of motorsport for, for uh, Formula One, and Mahul Kapadia, the CMO of Tata. Looking back over five amazing years, really, of the F1 Innovation Prize, something that's so rich with the spirit of innovation that Formula One is really all about. And Lewis, also, I think the really cool thing about it was just getting on the pulse with the fans. Right? Yeah, I was so grateful to be a part of it because it's um, it was just so innovative, you know, and to be able to, to really engage with the fans, especially when we're in that period of time, you know, with Ross coming in and we're looking at how we can progress and move Formula One forwards. And in that time, I mean, social listening as a concept has just got bigger and bigger, and Formula One is doing that more and more. And it sort of spanned that transition, didn't it? I think the fans can have such a, I mean, they are what create, make Formula One what it is. And so really getting the, engaging them and getting their input because they are just as experienced as we are. The people that are as old as, as Ross are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a good point because in you some know. ways they probably do know more about the sport because you know, a lot of people have been following it for a while. But also it's a the, different perspective yeah, at least. You know, yeah. They're watching, we're in this bubble as well. Yeah. And it, it was that sort of ability to do that social listening as well and to, to get the ideas from the fans. I know that's something that really excited you, Ross. The take up on social media for Formula One has been astonishing. You know, numbers just keep climbing massively. I mean, we're the fastest growing sport on social media, but that's only because we started from zero. It's, it's really a genius idea to, to, to engage this because, I mean, the fact that Formula One was not on social media, I've been here 12 years, nearly 13 years, maybe whatever it is, but yeah, it's literally 10 of those, 11 of those, 12 of those. This is a new age, a new day, and this is how people want to connect. It's all in the palm of your hand today, isn't it? I mean, if you particularly like, for example, if you go to Asia, more so than ever, they're watching everything on their phone. More than I, when I go there, it's extraordinary. It was augmented reality, virtual reality, Internet of Things, yeah. 360. 360. Uh, all of these things have been part of the F1 Innovation Prize over the last five years. Which ones have stood out for you, Mahal? The best part is the combination play, because it's not one answer will solve everything, right? Different fans, as Louis says, in Asia, where you're really on the mobile phone you don't want another piece of hardware. So actually augmented reality will work better for them mm. because just using that phone, 360 will work better for them, right? Yeah, yeah. Versus where you can actually invest in a lot more hardware, that's where probably virtual reality play will come through. I think, frankly, it's about getting the best out of the technology and giving people a choice. Now you've got all those ideas, as, he, as you're saying. So whilst we had a winner who, you know, they would do a great job, we could also take bits from the other parts and. I'll say we, because I mean, I'm just one of the drivers, but you guys. <laughs> well, you know, you're incubating, they, I mean, James Goff's idea that won last year, yeah. one of the key things about that was it was getting incubated in your technical center. Yeah, no, he's there. been working. How's that going? Well, I think he's been working with our people and um, they've been showing him the sort of things we can do. And so having a fan like James, who also is, is very technically innovative in, in his ideas about how he wants to watch Formula One, that's, um, it was a really good insight for us and, and seeded a lot of ideas of things we're doing. But where's the balance to be struck between authenticity and innovation? I don't think you can go too far because I think people have that choice. You know, and, and the great thing about the technology, which we always just uh, mentioned, is they can make their choice about how they want to engage with the sport. What sort of data points that aren't in display at the moment for fans are, are, do you think are coming down the pipe or what would you like to see? One area that's, that's very delicate, we understand the sensitivity, but driver's biodata would be fascinating to a fan. You know, his heart rate's running 120, car appears in his mirrors, bumps up to 130, maybe 140. Would you be up for that? <laughs> <laughs> so, Put me on the spot there, right there. <laughs> They've been trying to get our data for ages. Yeah. It's, that's quite a personal thing, I didn't, isn't it? I, so. I, sorry, I didn't want to think that. <laughs> no, it's cool. No, we, we've done it in the teams lots of times. And, um, I actually have no idea what my heart rate is when I race. So, no. I mean, also the fan understanding how aggressively a driver is driving and whether he's in attack mode or conservation mode. To say whether a driver is in sort of cruise mode, whether he's looking after the tyres, looking after the fuel. You have absolutely no idea what it's like in that car unless you drive it. And I remember when I was coming through the ranks, I didn't know what it was going to feel like. And it was even beyond what I thought, my wildest dreams. It was really, really extraordinary. And today fans talk a lot about the, the equipment we have, but they really don't know what we're doing in the background, how much work goes on with the engineers. You know, I bring a lot of the practicality to, to my guys and, and also I challenge them in all the things. And so the things that we've developed, steering wheels that are on other people's cars, I, I, I'm really proud because there's I don't know if you've noticed, like everyone's, everyone's changed their steering wheel. They've cut off the bottom part of their steering wheel. I designed that in McLaren and everyone copied. 
and it's yeah. now like most of the yeah. teams now have it. A true innovator. Like it's so yeah. cool. <laughs> and I should have copyrighted, but anyways. <laughs> um, but there's just a lot of things and also the physicality side of things. I think getting across the message what fantastic athletes these guys are is because whenever a top line Form 1 driver went into one of these superstar competitions, he was always at the top. He was always at the high level of professional athleticism. Uh, I mean, I remember Michael in Japan, there was a bike race and there was a Japanese Olympic competitor started to play around with him and Michael beat him because mm. he just didn't anticipate how much power Michael had. It's astonishing. Through competitions like this and yeah. technology, we're on a journey. How much further can we go? Do you think? These fans are educated. They know what's right and what's wrong. So we can't pull the wool over their eyes. We want to give them quality information, quality presentation. And it's just picking our targets and making sure they're done properly. I mean, have you, you're aware of a Rob Smedley, who's quite a well-known engineer through his career at Ferrari and Williams, now works for us. And his job is to bring this stuff to life. Because Rob's a data analyst, he's, he's engineered cars most of his life. He knows them inside out. And he's helping us and to, to turn this into something which the fans can engage with. Obviously, you've been empowering the journey. What have, what have you got out of it? I think as you see the larger picture, and to build on what Lewis you said, only 20 people can actually experience the true adrenaline that you feel, the true passion, right? So for us, it is just about working with the ecosystem. How can we get half a billion people to feel that, right? And whatever journey we can be, wherever we can reach, that's what really we're attempting to. Well, it's been a very successful partnership so far. Five great years of the F1 Innovation Prize and so much to, to look back on. And as you can see, the, that spirit of innovation continues. This partnerships continue and there's a lot more ideas coming. And uh, Lewis is just as excited today, clearly, as he was 12 years ago when he came in to Formula One. Thanks for joining us.